Welcome to the Salty Strikes uh, Fishing Channel. And uh, today we're not on the water fishing, we are doing a little boat repair. As I mentioned before in another video, that our live well was uh, starting to act up on us. And so uh, we got a new one, new pump, and we're gonna install that today. This is a Rabalo R200 2018. And uh, I know there's a lot of other uh, setups that are very similar. So if you're interested in checking that out, uh, stick around to find out how that's done. This is the pump that we have. Um, you know, I uh, went down there and I you know, took a little video and got the numbers off of the the pump, existing pump, and it is a uh, it is a uh, 4248 153-H09 is what's in here, and I went to go look that up, and of course, it, like it's like it doesn't exist. Um, I don't know if the they gave that nut number just for Rubalo or not. I looked up, uh, you know, I, I went on, the, you know, a couple of forums and stuff and, and asked around. And it seems like uh, this is the exact same pump. It's the 4248-153-E09 and not H09. And they might've gave H09 a designation for just the ones they sold uh, Rubalo. I don't know, but um, I'm pretty confident this is basically gonna be a, you know, bolt in bolt out you know straight swap so it should work um but it's, it's supposedly the same exact thing and this technically um is a wash down pump i don't know if you can see that on there but it's a high flow wash down pump and it's not a designated live well pump because this pump does both it does live well and does wash down you know it this does y off and uh, you know, one goes to the live well, one goes to the wash down, and uh, the way you operate it is, you know, one valve's open, one valve's closed, and you just have to switch back and forth. So there's not like one lever to, to go back and forth like a three-way valve. It's just one on each end. Um, when I have that one closed on the wash down, the live well will run when I have that valve open, and vice versa. Our live well slash wash down pump is located right down here underneath the seat and as you can see it's a little worse for wear a little corrosion so I'm gonna replace that first thing we're gonna do is just remove this to just give us easier access to get in there It's just easiest to move that part. The first thing we're gonna do is just uh, unscrew the the hoses, which are just threaded on. start comes off like that. And this one has, I don't know if you can see it here, but a plug-in switch. We'll just unhook that. 
doesn't look like it's gonna fall. And here's the old one. It's all rusted and but we gotta save these screws. We're gonna install it with the new one. As you can see there, they seem identical. I can't really tell the difference. Except for that one little part number. And we have the these these screws that came off the old one. And we'll just get them started. Just kind of push them in. Rubber gasket will hold it in place when we go put the new one in. Well, as you can see here, we have the old one and the new one. And the old one has this nice connector on it. And the new one, of course, comes with bare wires. So what I'm gonna do is marry this connector over to the these, um, these wires so I can just plug it directly back in. And I'll just use a little bit of this wire to give me a little more room to work with when I'm down there. I'll show you how that's done. Cut these off. And then Strip a little bit off. And then we'll connect these two with these wire connectors I like. These are the wire connectors I like to use. Um, you stick them in here, it's got a little solder in there. And then when you put the, the two together and heat it up, it shrinks and it makes a really good connection and nice tight fit and I'll show you how to do that. First you just slide this over one end and then you just kind of mush, mush the wires together like that. You slide it back over and you want that solder to be right there in the middle. And you got a heat gun. And you just apply heat all around it evenly. And now just slip on the other one. Just make sure those are all straight when you're slipping it through. and just let them cool off. And once it's cool, I just like to come back and There you go. And then we got our plug. Let's get all these wires out of the way and hoses. And make sure this is adhered to the right. out of the way. They're pretty lined up. Plug 
this back together. He's snug up, you don't want to over tighten him. It's got that rubber bushing that it takes some of that vibration. This really should be hand tight, you shouldn't really have to put a wrench on it. That's why it's got the tabs. You don't want to over tighten these things. And this is this is the discharge side, this is the suction side. See it sucks through here, goes through this strainer filter, and then goes into the pump here, and then out here, and then this is the the T splitter. This goes to the live well. This goes to the wash down. And then there we have it, and. Uh, I'll turn the battery on and uh, give it a pump and see if it works. We heard it turn on, so I'm not on the water right now, so I'm not going to leave it running. But uh, next time we get on the water, we'll make sure there's water coming out the end. Well, we got it all buttoned up. We know the motor turns. So um, if you have any questions or about this install or you know maybe the Rebello R200 in general or other things you know feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them if I have an answer for you I'll give you one if I if I don't I'll try to point you in the right direction um, but you know it's pretty simple unbolt you know unscrew a couple of hoses uh, reconnect some wires and you know bolt it back in screw it back in uh, hook the hoses back up test it and should be good to go so don't be afraid to do these things yourself uh, you know I know a lot of marine uh, places will, you know, charge you out the Yahoo for some of these things, but uh, give it a shot. Um, if you don't feel confident, you know, go somewhere then. But I hope this helps uh, somebody and um, you get something out of it. So until the next time, we'll see you on the water. Bye, guys.